Hey guys, it's Steve, and today we're going to talk about putting the snare drum on the ah uh of the count, and it's going to be in between the eighth notes on the ride cymbal. So we're concerning ourselves with the the two e and ah. Uh. Okay, that's where that snare drum is going to be, which is going to be a new sound and a new uh, motion for you. So again, like the previous uh, lesson, we're gonna start on one surface to make it a little bit easier to understand, okay? Let me check if that's recording. Is it? Yes, all right, good. Okay, so on the on the uh, one surface, meaning the snare drum. Think of it like a sticking, like we do, well, or like we did on the first one, okay? Uh, it will be right, right, together, right, left, right, right, together, right, okay? So again, watch the sticking, because we've got this motion in there that's gonna be a little strange when we get it on the set, okay? So, right, right together right left right right together right 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 together right left right right together right so if i played it on the on the one surface meaning the snare drum it would be right right together right left right right together Okay, watch again. Right, right, together, right, left, right, right, together, right. Okay, so once you get that going, maybe a little bit faster to get comfortable on the uh, on this one surface before you start putting it on two. Okay, I'll count myself off. Three and four. And if you start getting lost in there, might be a good idea to also, once you get the sticking down, once you can do it one time and then stop, and then another time and then stop, then you might want to start counting like this. You know, one and two and three and four and. And that last and, meaning the and of four is the most important note. You would think that it wouldn't be, but it is. So again, one and two and a three and four and. One and two and a three and four and. One and two and a three and four and. Okay, so if you can stream all those together nicely, you've got it. Then you can move to your two surfaces, meaning the ride cymbal and the snare. Again, my advice is to avoid the hi-hat over here, which is this guy right here. Because crossing over like this is awkward in the beginning. It's just a little, it's a little, it's not, it's not necessary and it might mess you up. Okay, so stay over here on the ride cymbal. I'm gonna put this hi-hat over here like that. Stay over here on the ride cymbal. So again, it's gonna be right, right, together, right, left, right, right, together, right. And then stop, don't repeat, okay? And then try it again. Right, right, together, right, right, together, okay? Then you might want to repeat it and possibly count if that helps. Right, right, One and two and a three and four and one. So 
once you've got that going, then you can add your bass drum just like the previous lesson on the one and and then the three and. So if it helps you to go back to one surface, that's good too. I will play it on one surface here with the sticks and then add the bass drum. I'll count myself off. Three and four and. One and two and a three. Did you see that? It's going to be a little weird because you're going to be going one and two and a three. Okay, that's going to be a weird motion there. And weird motions mean you're, you, it means you're, you're moving forward. Okay, so if it feels weird, that's a good thing. That means you're moving forward. You're getting better. That's good. So again, one time through, three and four and one and two. Three and four and. Okay, so now we can move it to maybe the ride cymbal snare and bass. All right, three and four and one and two and a three and four and. Now we can repeat it a few times. Okay, three and four. So that's the basic idea, and then once you've got that about eight times or so, nice and relaxed and, and solid and good, and, and uh, uh, once you get that going eight times and you feel like you know it, then you can go faster, okay? If it starts sounding like... that you're, you're probably going too fast. And do not worry. If you want to go super slow, by all means you can, like this. One, and two, and a, three, and four. Okay, that's much better than trying, you know, one, and two, and, nope, one, and two, and, nope, one, and two, and, nope, one, and two. Oh my gosh, stop craziness, stop. You're going to spend like an hour trying to figure that out when you could spend five minutes going slow. So that, going slow is a shortcut. Do not go faster until you have it nice and relaxed and you fully understand it. So going faster, once you get there, it'd be three and four and. So about eight times or so, maybe faster. Three and four. And. Okay, so enjoy that. Start slow, then go faster. Okay, and uh, stay relaxed, and big motions help as well. All right, thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.